My name is Anthony Crocco. You may remember me from such sketchy EBM videos as Getting Closure with Disclosure and Clinical Decision Instruments, Episodes 1, 2, and 3. Today, in this eminence-based medicine video, we are going to discuss the Four Horsemen. Let me reassure you from the beginning that this is not a religious or biblical discussion. In addition, we are not discussing the Four Horsemen of Relationships, which Gottman accurately describes. What we are going to talk about are the Four Horsemen as they pertain to discharge instructions. One of the riskier things that we do in our lives as clinicians is send people home. And so I think it's really important for patients and families to understand this part of our conversation with them. To that end, I often divide my discharge instructions to families into three groups. Reasons to stay home, reasons to visit their primary care provider, and reasons to come back to the emergency department. Reasons to stay home may be things like having diarrhea if they have gastroenteritis. Reasons to visit a primary care physician may be just not getting better. In my mind, though, I want to make sure that patients and families understand when to come back to the emergency department. One of the unfortunate realities in the emergency department is that we may not always get our diagnosis and treatment plan right. We look at the patient when we're sending them home and they look great, but maybe there's something brewing there that we missed. I need patients and families to know when to come back to the emergency department in case I got it wrong. Good discharge instructions are really diagnostic insurance. I'd now like to describe for you what I call the four horsemen. This is not an exhaustive list, and as always, draw your own conclusions. The first thing I tell patients and families to worry about is change in mentation. If they see persistent irritability or persistent lethargy, I want them to come back to the emergency department. There may have been something I've missed. The second thing I warn about is change in hydration. Especially in pediatric patients, this can be really problematic. And if patients are not drinking enough or having too much vomiting or diarrhea, I want the parents to come back so I can reassess them. The third category of things I worry about is change in respiration. Breathing faster, breathing heavier, having a hard time catching their breath, turning blue. All of these are good reasons to come back to the emergency department. My final category is increasing concern. I know this is a huge catch-all, but if I have parents or families at home and they're worried that their loved one is looking more sick and their concern doesn't quite fit my other categories, I want them to come back. I would rather reassess a patient who's doing okay than have a patient at home dying and I don't know about it. So in summary, my four horsemen are change in mentation, change in hydration, change in respiration, or increasing concern. Remember, you can always add to this list. Please take the time to evaluate, and as always, remember to draw your own conclusions. 